Well, this year, the Georgia Farm Bureau Federation sponsored the Grand Champion Prizes in All Species at the 2012 Georgia Junior National Livestock Show. But the state's largest farm organization went one step further, holding a special celebratory night to honor the winners here in Macon. Rick Trepto was there. This night of champions honored the six grand champion winners with their animals among the 1,600 4-H and FFA members who competed. Georgia Farm Bureau State President Zippy Duvall said the organization wanted this to be a very special evening. The learning experiences that you go through in showing cattle prepare you to be a champion in life. It might not be with a basketball in your hand or a football in your hand, but it prepares you to be a champion in whatever branch of life you decide to walk in. When you get out of high school and get in college, we want you to remember Farm Bureau because we can continue that leadership development in you in our programs. The six winners received their official checks from Mr. Duvall. Decatur County 4-H'er Bo Bailey showed the grand champion market steer and received $5,000. Mitchell County 4-H'er Madison Barnes had the grand champion market guild and received $1,500. Jeff Davis, FFA member, Bailey Herndon showed the Grand Champion Market Barrow and received $1,500. Each winner also received a coveted belt buckle. Conquer County FFA member, Jonathan Mobley, showed the Grand Champion Breeding Heifer and received $2,500. Putnam County FFA member, Megan Moore, showed the Grand Champion Dairy Heifer and received $1,000. Right, our overall champion Class 13. And Elbert County 4-H'er Anna Ruff showed the grand champion breeding you and received $1,000. Families were part of the celebration too, plus their extension agents and VOAG teachers. Just think about what your mom and dad, your siblings, your 4-H or your FFA leader, what they did for you in the last year to climb to the summit and become a champion. It truly is a team effort, a family effort, that we all learn to love each other during very difficult times when you don't want to go lead that animal, when you don't want to go feed them, when it's raining and cold or hot. I remember those days. But how sweet it is when you become a champion. Georgia Commissioner of Agriculture Gary Black also was at the dinner and congratulated the winners. Teaching youth to be responsible is cited as the number one reason parents in the state 4-H and FFA leaders want children to take care of one of these large animals. Both Georgia 4-H leader Arch Smith and Georgia Ag Education Program Manager Chip Bridges presented Mr. Duval a picture with all the grand champions and their animals. That ability to get up every morning and go tend to that animal then come home in the afternoon after school or on weekend, the discipline that it takes to, to learn how to uh, work with that animal and take care of that animal are life skills that young people carry with them throughout life. And I think it also prepares young people for the workforce, and makes them better employees when they get into the workforce. Getting any of the animals adequate housing, proper medical care, good feed, and travel to the shows makes for an expensive family project. The numbers actually are really good considering the economic downturn, the, the numbers of livestock projects and students participating is still up. So um, the program's growing. Uh, there's an incredible amount of interest in youth livestock programs and uh, we expect it to continue to grow. Farm Bureau officials said the Night of Champions was part of the organization's mission over the past 75 years to develop agricultural leaders for the future. I'm Rick Trepto for the Georgia Farm Monitor.